I've known him for a long time, since, um, since some of the early days of, of this hip-hop movement in Australia and um, always had a very, very positive energy, love life, you know, very robust character. Just always, um, he's always one of them positive dudes, always made me laugh, man. He stayed at my friend's big, you know, Bigfoot's joint, he stayed there for a good, what, four or five months. Might have been six months, so I always used to go around Bigfoot's house and shit. We'd always get on the drink, have a laugh, talk shit. I can remember one time going into cars, getting changed, like stupid shit. <laughs> We're always on the drink, man. Yeah, it was always a laugh. Plus, I stayed at his joint a couple of times when I went over Perth. He just, like, it was always open, really warm, you know what I mean? So he lent me his flat for like five days without even thinking about it. So just little things like that. It was always, um, Always didn't really give a shit, he's always a pretty positive person. Just real, you know. He uh, said what he thought. He was from the heart always. Didn't really care what other people felt. He was uh, positive all the time, you know, even to the end. Going through bad shit, he was always on looking on the bright side, you know. And he was yeah, such an advocate of Australian rap music, and hip hop, straight up. That's all, all he'd listen to. He'd come to my house. He was you know, living with me for a while. We'd be like, fuck, turn that Aussie shit off, man. Let's listen to this American stuff. He'd be like, nah, man, Aussie hip he's, he's Aussie hip hop to the core, you know? There's no one else like that. Never will be. He really changed my perspective on the way that I looked at hip hop. I have a tendency to be quite jaded at times and, and think, you know, this, this music is going in a bad direction and so forth. But his undying love for the music and the culture really made me realize that. that you know, it's bigger than these petty little grievances that I have about the music, and that, uh, and uh, it really made me realign my perspectives on where the where the really important things lie. And and uh, my my dealings with Rob really, really fucking have made me be a better person and a much more positive person in the way that I take the music today and in this day and age. Basically, taking it back to 2002, which is when I first met him up in uh, Harry Street in Thornbury where uh, a couple of the high goons used to live and um, he was just such a good dude man and the way that everyone would, would treat him and the way that he would treat everyone else that's who he was you know he had complete respect for everyone and the, the, such a passion for the music and for people involved and you can't help but not feel that as well. He is uh, one of those um Binding forces in the scene that um, brought people together, and, and uh, yeah, it's just a good opportunity to, you know, honour his memory. And I know he'll be up in uh, heaven, smiling down on um, a bunch of uncoordinated hip hop artists playing a game of football. You got some coin for the train? Bullshit, mate. You want something for your vein? I strain my eyes reading the yellow pages to fill up my job diary. It took me fucking ages. The So let's not pretend this is fun Even though that it is Especially when my mates come around and get pissed This is the life that I choose to lead A job I don't need I'd rather smoke weed And once a fortnight have a 